<laughs> I've got an interesting anecdote about um, the uh, the office. Carl, we we me and Carl went out right, um, and uh, with um, me and Jane, Carl and Johnny and Gigi, wasn't it? Carl, no, I'm talking no. to you, wasn't G- it? No, wasn't uh, Gigi. Wasn't is it important to win? No. Okay. But we're walking down the street. Carl was there though, and you can back me up on this. Um, we had a curry. We we're walking back, and uh, this little funny homeless fellow, didn't he? Mm. He, uh, oh, I got to tell it before, before I go, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> he, 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 uh, he came up to me, right? And he recognised it. Uh, 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 talking's more difficult than you think, right? Um, and he came up to me and he went, he went, oh, he said, I've just nicked five of your DVDs from HMV. <laughs> and he shook my hand. He was so happy with it. And I went, right, excellent. He went, all I do is I just swing the bag over the top. Like that when, <laughs> when I'm going out, and he had a bag full of DVDs, didn't he? And what? he was he was so pleased to tell me that he'd stolen <laughs> that great. He said that he said they're going like hot cakes. Yeah, he said they're going like, of course they are. Yeah, you're <laughs> nicking them. Yeah. I know we get paid yeah. for them, though, don't we? So we not the stolen ones, don't we? No. What do you mean? Did you sign them for him? <laughs> I know you were, you idiot. <laughs> what? So um, he just nicked five. Yeah. Well, yeah. You say he was homeless, was he? Well, I, I, I don't know, maybe. No. Surely, how would he have seen the show? He'd what? just walk past Curry's one, one, one Dixon's. morning. Dixon's. Yeah, yeah Teddy. I'd seen yeah. a trailer for it. I thought, hmm, interesting. I don't know if he was aimless. I didn't, I didn't go into his home sure. life. But, he shook his hand, though. And but he's, he, he made Carl look smart. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, uh, but he wasn't, he wasn't Northern, was he? No, he was like, um, do you know in the, in the fast show with Paul Whitehouse, when he did that character, that shady character? Yes. The spit of that, you know, was like he? a ponytail, T-shirt on, a bit too big for him, and just the movement and everything, really like a, you know, a cockney, little cheeky chap type yeah, person. Yeah, a little cockney cheeky chap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he just said, oh, he said, oh, it's you. He said, uh, yeah. you've got your DVDs, got six of them from HMV, going like hot cakes they are. And then off he went, whistling. Yeah. Well chuffed with himself. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Go like hotcakes. What, what, what was he going to do with them then? Probably sell them. Yeah. How does he sell them? Where does he sell them? Does he go up to people and go, do you want an office DVD? They're not nicked. <laughs> yeah. Four quid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Are these stolen? No. No, 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 no. They've still got the tags on them. Well, yeah. it's like those people who, um, you know, those cab drivers that you'll meet at sort of three in the morning who've just got a car yeah. and just went out with a car. Yeah. And just, oh, oh, I'll pick people up and charge them. Yeah. I got in one once. I said to him, uh, a guy just pulled up. I said, uh, he said, I was in like uh, East London. I'll go back to uh, North London. I said, uh, yeah, going to uh, Swiss Cottage. He went, sure, hop in. <laughs> we set off. He went, do you know the way? <laughs> I said, well, not really, no. I, th- I thought you'd know the way. You're in a cabbie, aren't you? He went, no, I don't really know the way there. I, don't. I, said, I said, have you got an A to Z? He went, no. I thought, well, if you're going to go out just on the, you know, just winging it as a cab driver, yeah. two things, take a map and a torch. He didn't have yeah. either. He said, uh, well, I'll probably get to Camden. I said, well, I'll direct you from there. Drove on for about five minutes, making conversation. In fact, five minutes later, he went, do you know the way to Camden? <laughs> I thought, you knew the way to Camden? I don't really know the way. I thought... I oh, it was lo- I mean, let I, me out. You know, Four yeah, quid. Exactly. And that's... I, I can't... I don't know who's got that sort of time on their hands that they just think, it's three in the morning. I'm, I'm at a loose end. Mm. I think I'll go out doing a bit of cabbing. Educating, Educating Ricky. Ricky. The titles that are yeah. uh, meant to sort of pull you in. Yeah. We've got if uh what 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 was it? So uh, stocking Aitken and Waterman. Yeah. You've got it's not his vault. <laughs> and uh get a load of this. Get a load of this. So uh, which pun do I pick first? Um I think I'll go for uh get a load of this. Get a lobe of this. Yeah, get yeah. a lobe of this, yeah. Well that's uh that's a story about a girl who uh <laughs> she was deaf, right, for, for four years. And um it happened quite a bit back this. What year? Or about, was it about, well, but I think specific it was in, ages ago, was about, it? About, yeah, quite a bit back. Uh, she was deaf for about four years. Having an argument with her mum, it said, which I didn't quite understand, because yeah. I don't know how they do that. Yeah. But she was having an argument, well, a, and a man pushed her against the wall, yeah. and she banged her head, and her hearing came back. OK. Uh, was well, she wearing a Walkman, and it fell out? And she'd realised, she oh... That's There's what? no explanation. There's no explanation? Well, why is that teaching me something <laughs> right, then? so I knew you'd say this, right? So I thought, right, I'll stick something on it. Do you know that bees are deaf? <laughs> no! No, you can't just... No! <laughs> no. If no. you ask someone something they don't the answer to, they don't tell you something else. Just I'll tell you something else then. I can't answer that, I'll tell you something else. Imagine that, if you asked a teacher. Look, how do birds fly? 
Wow, if you're going to do that, tallest building is... <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> well... That's that was the equivalent, Carl, of running away when we asked you a question. <laughs> yeah, the intellectual equivalent of going, look over there, there's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, what do you mean? What she. Okay, so. Oh, so she, her hearing. There's no came explanation. Back. There's no explanation. There's or not. you don't know. Well, there isn't one, is there, really? It's a bit what, weird. But the doctors, only did thing. Did that... doctors not look into it? No, I think they just said, oh, that's good. <laughs> But, so, again, I don't... Where did this information... Is that... If you read this on is the that net, it? is that all they put on there? The was net? once no. a deaf woman who hit her head and she and could hear. Came back. It was bizarre things about being deaf. Was there three, oh, like... Yeah. Was there I've three... got that book, yeah. It's a good book, that. Was there three yeah. more pages you just couldn't be bothered to read off? Yeah. No, no, it was just a little bit and it Was said... there a little picture, a cartoon picture? No pictures, I just read going, it. ow. Look, ow, if you I don't want to know, if you don't want to learn, you know. <laughs> yeah. OK, OK, uh, uh, um, it's not his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella... Yeah. Um, what year? Ages old, ago? Old times? In, I'd say in the 70s. OK. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? And, uh... Does he wear flares in the, uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? A, no, it's, it's a bit like Yuri Geller, this fella, right? Where oh, yeah. he's electric. He's electric. And, um... If he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh -huh. If he walked past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time. Ugh. And he'd be having a bath and everything would be all right. And then the power would sort of switch on in his body. And the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so... What do you mean, so? What, is that so? what does that so mean? You've given us nothing. You've given us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? <laughs> what was that one called? Yeah, but they... they, they but it's, there's not, a... it's not his vault. But there's a reason... <laughs> they, 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 they... <laughs> it's not his vault. It's not his vault. I thought it was going to be something about I think it we should, safe. I think we should do these the other way around. <laughs> I think you should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Right, last one. Yeah. Stocking Aitken and Waterman. Go on and tell me about that one. What's that? What am I going to learn from this? Right, well, do you know the saying, put a sock in it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. Do you know the saying? Yeah. Right, well, do you know where it comes from? I assume it's shut up, so I'll stuff your mouth with a sock to shut well, you up. years ago. Yeah. Sorry, am I right? No, not really. Ages ago. 1970s? Fifties, uh, okay. I'd say. Do you know the old? Uh, I'd say. Do you know the old gramophone? Yeah. With the, with the big horn on it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Well, those stereos didn't have a volume control on them, right? So they'd be listening oh, so to you'd put album, a sock in the and you'd put, mute. You'd put something like a sock. That's on. a real one. You see, that's taught me something. That's that's good. That's yeah. excellent, Carl. That is the that is the only one that counts. Like chewing the fat if they're true. I'm assuming they are. It works. It's of interest. I haven't got it verified yet, but that is educating Ricky. That's brilliant. I will say the other two were more entertaining. So, you know, I do don't... You see, do you understand the distinction, though, between that one and Electrical Man? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, or you... <laughs> I've hit me head, I can hear you, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> can you see the difference, though? Or... Uh, are not, all, all not really, because are... I, when I read all three, I took something away... From all of them. What, what did you, you take, take away, away from the electrical man? I just thought, oh, imagine that. Imagine how annoying that would be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. not education. Is and it's really? not taking anything no, away. What, think about it, right? We take our lives for granted all the time, don't you? You get up in the morning, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll get up and walk for a shower. Some people can't walk, right? Yeah. Yeah. This guy, you can't even have a bath. You know I mean? It's nice to have a bath, isn't it, when you've got time on your hands and yeah. you can relax. This guy can't even do that. He might be all right for a bit, but he's not really enjoying it because at any moment it could strike. Yeah. So, he can't even do that. He can't comb his hair because it keeps going a mess. Yeah. He can't watch his Not favorite... you. No, he can't. <laughs> does, he, does he fight crime? What does he do with his powers? Yeah. I think he just has to sit around because no one... He can't work with machinery. Right. Because he'll probably blow a fuse. Yeah, so he just sits around. Think about it. What can he do? Mm. What normal things can he do? Skateboarding. Going for long walks. Yeah. Put a wetsuit on. Well, he couldn't do that. Why? Ooh, water and electric. No, no, wetsuits aren't actually wet. <laughs> They're dry yeah, initially. You just put a whole wetsuit on and walk around with flippers. And a wetsuit's not like a dinner jacket that's like <laughs> really wet. <laughs> well, yeah. all, all I'm saying is stink. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. And, and what was the and other one? The, the girl's girl, girl death <laughs> four years hits her head. Yeah. That's just. What uh, have you learned from that? What is that? Well, imagine, imagine how happy you'd be. Remember that time when I, uh, <laughs> I nearly died? 
when I choked on a Mr. Freeze pop. <laughs> Right. No, what, tell what? us that one again. No, I told you, didn't I? Tell us again. Yeah, but the people will remember it, and then it's they won't. Like, they weren't listening. Go on. What happened? It was ages ago when my mum and dad used to go out shopping on a Friday. Nineteen seventies. Get, get, get the food in. <laughs> get get a week's load of food in the cupboard and that, and we'd uh, you know they'd come in with all the food, and we'd all be like, oh god, you know, there's no food left on a Thursday really, so we'd all be hungry on the Friday by the time the food got in. Mm. I love that and but I'd they would like, need a, it's a, it's a, I imagine him like jackal puppies yeah. just like, like uh, uh, licking your parents mouth for food as so, they come through the door so they come in from the supermarket they're emptying the box our kid had got some biscuits and what have you <laughs> I, I, frenzy uh, just a feeding frenzy like pigeons I grabbed the Mr Freeze Pop <laughs> and knocked it back really quick but it, hasn't, it wasn't frozen so I knocked it back so it was like a liquid and it went down the wrong way right yeah. and I was choking right and I nearly died it, it must have been about how long can you go before you die? A couple of minutes to do right, it. I reckon about a minute fifty. <laughs> right, I was, I, I was really close to dying. How do you know you were close to dying? Me, uh, me, did your life flash before you? No, but I just was like, <laughs> there was loads of instances of him eating pops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, I just, <laughs> just was dead forty of those. Whatever, what, right? Anyway. What do you think you'd see if your life flashed past you? What do you think? <laughs> which elements would stand out for you? Do you think? What? what? Uh, Start now. Go back. What do you remember? What's the first thing you remember? As a kid. Yeah. yeah. Just anything right. now. Being in a hall and having our dog licking my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's your earliest memory. Yeah. <laughs> the talked about, the acclaimed. Educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't mm. normally listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in a week, find stuff, news, history, anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, I give them a nice little headline, you take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're going to learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've also got uh, Hippopotta News. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, Chicken You Believe It. <laughs> chicken You Believe It. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to go Hippopotta News. Hippopotta News? Hippopotta yeah. News. Right, well, this one, it's. Uh, uh, I'm not going to take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on breakfast, right? Because it's a good. good uh, Good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but um, oh, I think you did. Right, I know a... what it is. I know what this is. Okay, I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus, I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere. I think it was in America. Yeah. And um, is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay, right. Uh, little midget. Uh, circus, really <laughs> packed out show. People are loving it. Um, right, Steve, you got asked the same question I did. I know. I so, um, so there's a little little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's what circus is. Right. I yeah. take good money to see it. So everyone, everyone's clapping, and he's getting carried away. Um, <laughs> Because he can't believe he's like, he can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when, uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was it was getting out of hand. <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down there all going higher and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's, he's doing this, crowd are clapping. There's a hippo, right, just sat next to the trampoline, getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh, right, I thought he was in the audience. There's a hippo getting ready to do his act, Steve. Yeah. So, so the, the he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because he's, Why he's... do they sit in the dressing room and they go, five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Muss, five minutes, Mr. Muss. So anyway, right, so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed, is he, because this, because the midget's... He's he's going, how can time. I follow well, this? How yeah. can I, this is thinking, really annoying. Yeah. They're going to be, yeah. oh, yeah. no. So <laughs> He's thinking, he's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick out, he's never going to work. <laughs> yeah, go on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story, and I just know he embellishes it, or he gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going the mad, the midget's loving it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows... Is dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi, hi, hi. He gives it one big, like, heavy 
sort of landing on the trampoline goes really high but goes off at a funny angle oh hypotenuse <laughs> okay yeah um and sort of flies out flies off at a funny angle Ooh, hippos there swallows him whole <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. Rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. It's not rubbish, though. And but no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a, uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo. Eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on, going, come on. The midget flew off at a hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> This well, is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippopotamus, hippopotamus I was thinking actually waiting to happen. Yeah. So yeah, yeah maybe. I mean, it is it that 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's it's a recipe for disaster. It's Everyone knows that midget trampoline hippopotamus. Are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you, you know when he told me it. He said, and the midget. He didn't. He didn't mention the hippopotamus. And he said, and the midget went on and soon he fell off. And the hippo at him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. No, what do hippos do? What can they do? You can't train them, can you? <laughs> what do you, what do you, aren't they, like, very deadly? They're yeah, huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. Are you sure? You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither clown. Yeah. You no, 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 no. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't some sort of where Zippo was eating a midget, and it's it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely. I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay. It sorry. No, it's definitely fact. Yeah. Though. Okay. Right, proof. Okay. Good. Educating Ricky. Part two. Right. What's the What's the clues right, left? Well, we've uh, we've we've got left uh, the headlines. I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> yeah. And we've also got uh, chicken. You believe it? Chicken. You believe it? <laughs> So, they're the two that are left. Which one's right. you going for? Chicken, you believe it, is not that picture, is it, in that, that we saw? Which picture? The bloke with the... No, 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 Right, no, no. okay. God, um, that was bad. Right, okay. Um, um, right, so... I just better explain we that. We can't really discuss this on it, well, can we? Well, we can. Um, uh, Steve brought in, Carl, the best book ever, which is, what is it? I, I found it when I was moving house. It's an FHM publication, and it's kind of like lots of grotesque pictures and stories and like the book of the a, a book of freaks and weirdos and... And grotesque. Carl opened it, and the first one was like... At the back. At the back. The back. The well, back. you couldn't but believe your luck, could what you? Was it? What, was, what was number 50? A, a bloke with two heads. And he said, what's number one? One. Yeah. And then number six, there's a bloke who's a squid or something. Uh, octopus. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's loving it. Uh, and number one, he said, well, it's just a fella under a rock. And I went, oh, no, read on. I think I know about this. And it's the fella that was found. He caused a landslide while having sex with a chicken. And they pulled him <laughs> up and there he is, the chicken. Right. So Carl so, could not believe his luck. So it's not that. Chicken, you believe it? I love that one. You're then. going for that one? Yeah. Right, well, we've talked a lot on the show about. Um, we talked a lot on the show? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, about <coughs> animals without heads. Like, <laughs> we haven't! Uh, <laughs> we haven't! We haven't! No, we talked about cockroaches could live without a head for well, seven days. Yeah, we talked about that. And then, of course, there was the. Um, <laughs> The well-known one about the uh, the fellow who had his head cut off, and he he, he blinked. He said to his mate, "Count how many times I blink when my head comes off." Yeah, we, as you, when when you told it to me, you said his head came off, and he said, as he said, was <laughs> the mask, he said, "Quick, count how many times I blink." <laughs> and it was Nick Frost that had to go, "No, Carl, no, he he said it before." I went, and uh, that was that was lovely. So uh, yeah, we've talked quite a lot about things heads coming off. Yeah. Go on then. Well, this one, yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> back in 1945 oh, he looked it up the date he's got a specific date uh, wow. mate Jonathan sent this one you know him as well lad at the BBC right he emailed this one in mm. so thanks for that um, chicken it's called Mike this, there's a chicken uh, called sorry I, I missed a bit there there's yeah, a chicken, chicken called a Mike a chicken called Mike okay right? yeah. um, what happened was it was living on a farm mm -hmm. right Loads of chickens knocking about, and uh, the owner of the farm is like, you know, getting ready for tea, and his wife says, uh, "Go out and get a fresh chicken because mm. me uh, my mum's coming round." Mm. So he thinks, "Well, <laughs> I, I, I want to get a good one in because uh, I want to impress her." Because yeah. back then, even then, they wanted to impress the mother-in-law on that. Uh -huh. So they said, "All right, I'll just nip out and get one." So he sees uh, he sees Mike, chicken running around. Is this during the war or after the war? 1945. I'd, I'd say that was after. No, it ended well. It ended no. in 1945. Yeah, okay. September. Go on. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, chickens running about. He thinks that one, look, that, you know, that looks all right. I yeah. love that one. Mikey. So he picks it up, um, and 
he cuts his head off. Oh. Puts it on the block, cuts his head off. Runs about a bit, like they do. Um, he thinks it'll stop in a minute. Keeps running about. Hmm. And what's going on here? Right? He's, he's, he's now, like, chasing a chicken without an head. Yeah. He's thinking he should die in a minute. Anyway, doesn't die. Chicken's walking around with no head. Um, lives for 18 months. Yeah. Chicken with no head. Yeah. What do you now, think of that? Well, I'll tell you, I've heard this story before, Rick, and uh, my, the explanation, as I understand it, was that um, certain vital cords, spinal cords, weren't severed when the head came off. So yeah. that was why it continued to, to yeah. live. Yep. I don't know if that sounds plausible. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, how did it take on uh, protein and energy? The fella who yeah. owned it, he said, well, hang on a minute. He said, I could, I could kill it now. But I've got a wonder chicken here. But he's thinking... It must really want to live. Sure. Right? <laughs> if it survives that, they sort of got something here. Yeah. So he, uh, what he does, he gets a little um, eye droplet thing that he used to use on it. Obviously not, not anymore. Right? And he filled it with grain and water, and it had a big hole in its neck where its head used to be. And he, uh, <laughs> Incredibly. And he dropped... You know what? There's, there's, I mean, that, that is possible, then, if it, you know, without, without infection. Way, without, without, without infection, if he's taken on things, it is, it is possible, right? Why? <laughs> Why what? Why did he do it? How cruel is that? I mean, that was not cruel, because the chicken, obviously, you know... He said, he said if he thought it was a bit fed up, he would have killed it. He said, but right. it was running around quite happy. Well, it wasn't fed up at all, because it had no brain. <laughs> well... What do you mean, well... I'm just saying what... It what was nothing. It? it was just it was just sinew and nerves and electrical impulses breaking down energies, right? That's all it was. It, it didn't have a brain. So it was... But I, I'm worried about the psychology of keeping a pet without a head. <laughs> I'm worried more about what the farmer was thinking than the I chicken. I tell you this. What I'm, uh, the question I'm asking is, was the mother-in-law impressed? <laughs> I mean, that's oh, why he's out. That's why he's out to shot Mike's head This off. is lovely, but it's just the head where you don't kill a chicken like that all at once. <laughs> I thought we were having chicken for dinner. Come and look at this. <laughs> running around the yard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So, there you go. You've learned something there. Yeah, I have learned something. Yeah? Yeah. So, the, one more. That farmer, I have learned that farmer was very strange indeed. <laughs> yeah. there you go. I have to say, to be fair to Carl, I have a feeling like when I read it, the reason he kept it alive was as a novelty. He sold, he, you know, he, he got charged people to come and see the incredible headless chicken right. called Mike. Right. So, <laughs> here we are. Right. That's great. I'll be no buying one of them. Go on. Um, are you familiar <laughs> oh, <Christ. laughs> okay. with, the, with the same white elephant? Something is a white elephant. Yeah, I don't oh, think so. Hold on. You phoned me last night and said, what does white elephant mean? <laughs> and I told you. Yeah, I know, but I know where it came from, but I just was wondering what it was about. So how, in what way is educating Ricky, you calling me up and asking me something? <laughs> well, do, do you know how it came about? You've given away some of the secrets of the show there, it would appear. I didn't realise he was phoning you for information. We well, just asked me what what the term white elephant meant in sort of like colloquial. Did he say? Did he say there's, why, why why are you interested, Carl? No reason. <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, what it is ages ago. When so what do we understand white elephant to mean? It's well, some of the juice list that's like a bit of a you know a, 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 you know something that you wouldn't want around that's just, that's just stood there doing nothing. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Carl. So. Uh... <laughs> So years ago, when, when people used to use elephants Years more, ago, go on. More, when people used to use elephants? Yeah, go on. More, more than they do now. Right. Um, <laughs> more than they do now! This doesn't involve a midget, does it? No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, they'd use them in the workplace and stuff. To sure, sort yeah, of, as factories. Sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. To move stuff Teen around and that. <laughs> Yeah, it's security guards. Yeah. Can't trust them with the buns, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they stopped using them. Oh right. God, go on. So there was loads of loads of elephants knocking about. about. And the thing is, right, you couldn't if, move from. If you have a lot of something, uh -huh. you also have a lot of demic ones, don't you? you a lot, lot of what? You know, sort of demicky ones, ones that aren't right, really. Demic. Demicky. Well, you know, like they weren't. They weren't properly. They weren't. They weren't properly. <laughs> they weren't so what, Carl? Properly. What are you what, doing? What, right, I'm getting to the story. So what I'm telling they you were, is... They were a bit demicky, so they weren't properly. Have you started making words up? Right. Yeah, yeah, you Stanley Unwin. <laughs> Listen, Reincarnated. What, demicky? What, yeah. There was a lot of albino elephants knocking about. Okay. Where? Where is this? Um, Olden Africa. times. Africa. <laughs> yes! 
Yeah. Uh, should we say Africa? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If an answer's got a question mark at the end, I'm not well, sure. It's either Africa or India, but I'll give you a clue. Will these elephants, do they have big ears or little ears? Um, I didn't sort of notice the size of the elephants. I noticed, what I noticed is they were white because they were albino elephants. Okay. Right? So... Uh, that's why they're heading Albino buying one of them. Okay. Albino right? <laughs> buying one of them. So, uh, what would happen is people who didn't know what they were doing, like, you know, you get people making a mistake buying cars that are full of problems and that. Back yeah. then, when people were buying elephants, they'd go up to someone, say, I'm after an elephant, and the fellow would say, Yeah, I've got one here for you. Sure. This is a nice one. Mm -hmm. And it was all white and stuff, and it had like blue eyes. You should never trust a used elephant salesman. <laughs> it was just this elephant that's white with blue eyes. Right? So, this is um, great. So, yeah. uh, so a uh, fellow who didn't know what he was doing would buy the elephant and he'd get it back and it'd be all sort of lazy and stuff oh, and the worst doing place, the stuff. Yeah. Mm. And he'd say, what's, what's up with this? And his mate, who's a bit of an expert with elephants, and go, oh, where have you all that from? And he say, oh, I got it off that fella. And he goes, oh... All this should... embellishing nonsense <laughs> he does with the story. He shouldn't have bought that. So he goes, why? And he says, it's only albino, isn't it? And he's like, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it's, it gets tired. Yeah. Um, it's not that good at doing work and that. You shouldn't it have bought it. It steals from you. But elephants back then were like a god. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't, you couldn't say, oh, I'm sick of this and I'm going to abandon it or anything okay. because ele elephants were seen as like pretty high up on the chain of things. So <laughs> they'd end up being stuck with an elephant, that's an albino, Yeah. couldn't do much, gets tired, basically gets in the way. So they said, that's where they're saying, like, you know, but a bit of a white elephant there. <laughs> what do you reckon, hell? Rick? I I feel I don't I feel like I I haven't been educated. I feel like I've lost something. <laughs> so at that time in my life I can never get back. I feel like I've sort of been soiled, and I I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm angry. Sure. Yeah, I can see that. And all that rubbish around. Look at his little face. Well, what was it, all that shit about a second-hand elephant salesman and his mate knew about elephant? Elephants. What is it? What are they? They had blue eyes. What are you? Well, you albinos go. have red eyes for a start. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We've run out of time. Oh, what? What? I mean, Sorry. what are you going to do about this next week? Are you going to actually do some educating next week? And what about rockbusters? Right, Steve. You search for a winner. I so will. At random. We can yep. slip into that. So the first one was the fellas only got one badge left. I, don't, I have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I give out the answer now? Yeah, Steve? give the answer. Yeah, I think on. you should. That was Elastica. Yeah, e Elastica, the band Elastica. Oh, I'm not it doesn't sure. Work. No. Doesn't work. The word, the word sticker and the and the ba yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker. It's Elastica. Yeah, but like his last sticker. So <laughs> someone's got it. Oh, um, so so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is Islastica, then it works. God, if only Justin would have named it different. If she'd have just gone, let's call it Islastica, <laughs> then we'd have, yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite? Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done, we've done the obvious Doesn't ones. Work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Miss Dinner Mate. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dinner Mate, it would work. She didn't. See, what, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. They don't count. <laughs> and the last one. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm going to give you that. That worked, yeah. <laughs> Right, um, that's the end of that feature, until you can get ones that work. Okay, so you won't hear any more of that, because it's rubbish. You're running out already. <laughs> I do, that's sorry, harsh. do you just think of the first three things that come in your mind and make them fit? Just oh, think of three bands and make a clue, and if it fits, it fits, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just, I just went through the... Rubbish, it was rubbish. Whatever. Just get this educating Ricky out of the way, so turkey, yeah. So what is this again? The this is educating Ricky, is a tip included. Right. Apparently a fellow was on holiday in Turkey. Um, it's just having a normal holiday. Weather's good, you know. He's having a good time. And Weight is all normal height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's having his meal. He hears a load of screaming going on in the kitchen. Mm, hold on. Has his girlfriend wandered in there? <laughs> and they do um with a step ladder. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the the circumcised people in the kitchen, and apparently... What are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. We were Sorry. sidetracked there for a minute. What are you we talking listening. about? Well, I'm just excited about two things at once here. One, they circumcised people in the kitchen. <laughs> two, I guessed it was someone losing the end of their knob. <laughs> he did, yeah. I started thinking like Carl Pilkington. Extraordinary. That is amazing. Apparently it was it was going on. It wasn't just a one-off either. Well, when I say a one-off, I mean they did it more than once, yeah. right? Um, and there was um, it was there for a week, and apparently the first night it was quiet, and then the rest of the week, every day, it'd be like having his having his breakfast or even his lunch or even his tea. Yeah, right. he'd be doing it all day. Oh, you'd be hearing lunch screams. and breakfast is fair enough, really. Yeah, so it's it. tea time. And don't do that. Um, and apparently it's a tradition over there. You can't even make a complaint about it. It's like, well, you should have, you know, should have found out before you you come over. See, it. I can't believe this is Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm a little I bit lost. The, the, he true. was in a restaurant uh, uh, in a hotel, and there were people having circumcisions in uh, the in the kitchen. Yeah. In the, is that right? I, 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 I'm even worried that we're bordering on the racist here, suggesting that that is tradition that Turkish people cut the end of their cocks off in the kitchen. Yeah. At meal times. Mm. I think you're wrong, Carl. This just sounds ludicrous, Carl. No, I don't think it happens everywhere. Right. I think this just in this, oh, this, in this hotel. Certain certain places. <laughs> certain hotels. Certain hotels. What it's... is it like? Two star. Yeah. No, I, 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 that, that, Why did he go to the Foreskin Inn? <laughs> it was his own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> so that that. Sorry, that that's it. Is it? Have they clued? Have so, they so, no, wait, 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 wait. That's the story. You, you educated me, right? <laughs> Once a fella saw some Turkish people cutting the tip of their no, I'm off in the kitchen. Thanks very much. Well, Thanks very much, Carl. Got any well, more? Well, well, there's things you can learn from it. Either don't go to Turkey. No! <laughs> uh, don't have calamari when you're over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. oh, Carl, you've done it again. <laughs> <laughs>